Have you been looking for a tool that will help you manage all these subscriptions in your inbox? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to show you just how to use unroll.me and also give you a word of caution regarding something that you should consider before using this platform inside your inbox. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so here we are on the unroll.me homepage, and it can be found at the exact same address, unroll.me. So let's click to get started. Put on my specs. All right, so when you first uh, click to get started, you're going to be taken to a sign up page where you type in the email address that you want to unroll from or unroll some subscriptions from, let me say that. And then you are going to be sent to log in just like you would a normal Gmail account. What unroll.me needs to do is they need to get permission to be able to access the account and pull all the email subscriptions related to that account. All right, so now what it's doing is finding all the subscriptions that are um, related to my account. And as you can see, they found 17 different subscriptions. So let's continue. All right, so here we are with the list of all the subscriptions that they found in my inbox. And basically, with each subscription, I'm giving three options. One. I can keep it in my inbox. So the, basically I'm telling unroll.me, don't do anything with this subscription. The other one is that I can unsubscribe from this newsletter or mass emailing. Keep this in mind, we're gonna come back to this later. The last thing is I can add this subscription to a roll up. And what the roll up is, is think in terms of an RSS feed where you receive all your subscriptions in one place. Well, that's the same thing with the roll up. Whatever subscriptions you add to a roll up, it will um, send that roll up once a day or however you predetermine. It will send that into your inbox and then all those subscriptions added to that roll up will be in that one message. So let's say I did, I kept this one in my inbox. I unsubscribed from this one. And then I added this one to my roll up. And you can keep doing that all the way down the list until you have managed all your subscriptions. Okay. Then you hit continue. All right. So. Basically, what unroll.me is telling me now is that I've unsubscribed from one email, I've added another to my rollup, and then 18 of the other emails that I have are being kept in my inbox. If you scroll down, unroll.me asks a question. What time of the day do you want to receive your rollup? Do you like to read your messages in the morning, afternoon, or evening? And uh, for the sake of this example, what I'm going to do is hit evening because I like to read before I go to bed. All right, so I've cleared all my subscriptions. Hooray! <laughs> and that is basically what happens when you manage all your subscriptions inside of unroll.me. But let me tell you what you need to consider. And it's all in relation to the FAQ section. So let's go down there, click on FAQ. And I want you to scroll down to the section that says editing your roll up. When you come under this section, the third question is the one you really want to pay attention to. Let me scroll up a little bit so you can see it better. It says, how does unroll.me unsubscribe me from a subscription? Unroll.me unsubscribes you by following a sender's unsubscribe instructions 24 hours after you've unsubscribed. As a backup, 
we automatically trash all future emails you'll receive from that sender. This is to ensure that if the unsubscribe request fails for some reason, you still never receive an email from that sender. See more info here. And I tried to click here, but as you can see here does nothing. All right, so here's the thing I want you to keep in mind when it comes to using unroll.me. And many people do not consider this. When you use this service to unsubscribe from all the emails that you signed up for because you wanted a freebie or you wanted whatever it is that they were offering, it takes those emails and it unsubscribes from you, but it takes that extra step and it blocks any other future emails from that sender from coming into your inbox. So what that means is that if you reach a point down the road where you want to subscribe back to this person's mailing list, guess what? Nine times out of ten, you're going to have trouble receiving their emails. You're going to have trouble receiving their notifications. Why? Because according to unroll.me, you opted to unsubscribe and you never went back and edited that subscription. So unroll.me has the last direction from you to do what? To trash all future emails and to make sure that you never receive any future emails from that email address ever again. So what you need to do to rectify this situation and make sure that you are able to receive future emails whenever you decide to opt back onto someone's list is you can utilize one of two options. The first option is that you go back into your unroll.me account, you click unsubscribe, you find the email address that you unsubscribe from and click keep in my inbox. What that does is let unroll.me know, hey, now I'm okay with receiving emails from this particular email address, okay? The other option is to manually unsubscribe from any email newsletters that you may want to consider subscribing to again in the future. This way, you don't have to figure out which unroll.me email addresses you've unsubscribed from way back when that you need to come back and resubscribe to or take back onto your list until you're keeping the inbox list. So it's, so, it's, it's really up to you whether or not unroll.me is a feasible service. As for me, I use unroll.me for those um, email addresses that I know that I'm not going to subscribe back to ever again, that I know I just might have subscribed to see a freebie or take advantage of an offer or something like that, but I'm not going to continue to engage with them. And the ones that I know I may re-engage with in the future, I just manually unsubscribe. But again, it's pretty much up to you as far as this is concerned, but I really wanted you to know what that extra element was with unroll.me so that you're not frustrated by not receiving any future emails from someone whose list you resubscribe to in the future. So take that information, decide exactly what strategy applies to you when you're using unroll.me. Hey, did you like this video? Well, Spirit Fingers, don't forget to like, share, and best of all, subscribe so you can receive future notifications for when I go live. Take care. Bye.